morning. Never let it be good said morning. that the Hotel Donnelly is not a full-service operation. Coffee's pretty good, too. Good. Chris, you with us? Yeah, sure. Ah, uh, she's having breakfast without me. Does she go over the house to welcome Robert and Robin home? Yeah, but I don't think it's going to be a very happy reunion. What do you mean by that? Well, Robert's going to have to tell her something, but well, I know she won't like it. Hi, Hello. sweetheart. Oh, welcome back. Hey, good morning, Robert. Uh, how's about some coffee? I've just put on a fresh pot. Uh, none oh, for me, thank you. Hello. Yeah, I'd love a cup. In the kitchen, it's on a tray. You can't oh, miss it. Go. Go. She can't still be asleep. Uh, no, no. I um, want to go see her. I promise. Anna, she's not here, love. Um, I've sent her out with Eric to have some breakfast. I wanted us to have a private moment together. What do you want to talk about? Something which isn't going to make you too happy. Something you need to know before Duke's sentencing today. Something he didn't want to tell you. I don't understand. Duke said that Angus had guaranteed our safety if Duke kept his promise about Lorlien. I know. I mean, it wasn't just going to be for his duration in prison. It was going to be for the rest of our lives. That was more or less the deal made. There's more? Actually, there's less. Go on. The truth of the matter is that Duke never really bargained for himself. What do you say? He has no personal guarantees. Angus couldn't and wouldn't guarantee his personal protection. So Duke's sacrificing himself? You've just got to hope that he can... Oh, don't! Oh, what? Don't be so ridiculous. The odds are impossible. We'll see. I shouldn't have let him take over that press conference. I should have turned state's evidence myself. We could have avoided this entire oh, mess. Don't be ridiculous. You turn state's evidence. You out there blabbing about the mob? That makes the both of you walking targets. I don't care about myself. It's Duke I'm worried about. He's, he's sacrificing himself for Robin and me, and, and how am I going to live with that? Can't answer that question. Well, you answer me, you answer me this. Duke has agreed to the death sentence, more or less. And you knew about it, and you don't find that very difficult to go along with, and I want to know why. I don't think you're being very fair. He bargained for as much personal protection as he could. Do you suppose he wants you or Robin on his conscience? Do you suppose, he, do you suppose I do, for that matter? But Orlean remains a very big club suspended over Angus's head. I don't head. care about Lorleen. You let me finish? It's a very big club over Angus's head. Duke told him personally that if anything was to happen to him, the secret is passed on to oh, me. Oh, it's going to be too late by then. Duke will be dead. Uncle Duke's dead? Me? Robin. Robin, oh, darling. Oh, no, oh, sweetheart. No, no, no. no. It's, no all it's, it's all right. It's okay. all right. He's okay. Duke's fine. It's all right. Oh, Duke's fine. Yeah. Uh, listen, I miss you, sweetheart. Are you all right? Garlow's in the kitchen. Tell me all about your skiing trip. How was it? Yes, yes. Our daughter was a fantastic beginner. As a matter of fact, I fell down three times as many times as she did. But then again, little Robin here is a little close to the ground, aren't you, darling? Yes, she hmm? is. All right, darling? You know, uh, I think that maybe Duke and uh, Robin should see one another. What do you say? Hmm? Oh, I like that. Yeah, yes. I kind of thought you would. Uh, I'd like to see Duke beforehand, please. Of course. Can I see Uncle Duke? As soon as your mother's finished. We'll go over to Sean's then. Hmm? Okay. While I'm visiting Uncle Duke, then we can... I can say hi to Sean, too. Then you can say hi to Sean, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I have an idea. Why don't you go and show Eric some of your Christmas presents? And maybe, just maybe, you can con him into playing one of those dumb board games. <laughs> okay. Okay? Come on, Eric. All right. And listen, don't forget to unpack all those souvenirs you bought your mother and Duke. Okay. Okay, off you go. Bye. Uh, listen, would you mind if I made some phone calls out in your kitchen? Please, go ahead. Anna. Okay, looks like I'm in for the silent treatment. Look, I'm doing everything I can to ensure Duke's oh, safety. Oh, yeah, sure. Extra police guards, great. Well, I think I can do a little bit better than that. I have a meeting scheduled along with Jake and the judge before sentencing. Jake's going to plea bargain, and I will fill him in as much as I can without playing the Orlean factor. 
and try to ensure Duke's safety. You have absolutely no guarantee that the judge is going to cooperate. None at all. I'm basing my optimism on the judge's past performance, and you should too. He went along with me once before, and I think he'll do it again. Well, good morning. <laughs> oh, they're downhill racers. Oh. I'm broken bones from skiing now. Everybody's just fine. I'm just going to see Duke. All right. Morning. Morning. Get some coffee. You know, Robert told you. Yes. Of course he did. I know. I tried to. I know you won't. I know you're really sorry. You wish you could have told me about this rotten deal yourself. I tried to tell you. Oh, I, I didn't. Have... I would have told you eventually. I don't know. This is not an excuse, please. Stay and listen to me. Didn't you realize? My life is just totally meaningless without you. I did what I had to do to protect you and Robert. Why? What, so we can come to your funeral? So I can wonder for Stop the rest it. of my life how, Stop when, it. where you're going to be murdered? Stop. I don't want to know. Please. I don't want to hear Stop anything else you've got to, to me. say. Please listen to me. Stay and listen to me. Please. You, you and I, we've been, we've been to hell and back since this whole nightmare began. But we've survived. We've got this far. We're going to get through it. I know we will. Oh, <laughs> dude, how can you say that? You tell me, how are we going to get through this one? Because I have faith in Robert. And I know he will convince the judge to give me extra security in prison. You can't be sure of that. I know Robert. He'll do whatever he can for us. I know he will. I have faith in him. We can't give up now. We can't give up. Hey, we're this close to having a life together. If this is the right time for that. Well, I know Uncle Duke misses me. Oh, I know he misses you, and I'm sure he wants to visit with you. But uh, why don't you wait on the couch for a while while I go in and check on Duke and Mommy, huh? All right. But don't tell Uncle Duke I have a souvenir of my trip for him because okay? <laughs> I want it to be a surprise. Mommy's the word, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, Eric, why don't, uh, you join Captain Lewis in the back hall, huh? Probably want some company anyway. Right. I'll be right back, baby. just for a little while. But you see, if the judge is fair, then, then it'll only be for a short well, time. Not, well, how do you know the judge is going to be fair? You have well, to know. Listen, what might be fair to one person may not be fair to another. We can just, we just hope that the judge knows that Duke is a very brave man. He saved your daddy's life. He did? Yes. Oh, I love you. You're I love right. you so much. <laughs> Save my daddy's life. You're a hero. Now, what do you know about heroes? Frisco's a hero. You're just like him. Anna, honey, I'll play 
you're going to explode. Don't you think it'd feel better if you spent some time with Duke and Robin? Hmm? Come on. Yeah. And when Mommy or Sean or Daddy wanted to come in and see me, then they had to give me a special knock at the door. Sean. Where is everybody? Daddy! They're coming out of this Hey, sweetheart. Hmm? My girl? What did the judge have to say? Hmm? Um, what? I think, Sean, can you please get me some ice cream? Oh, could you please Sean get some ice cream? would be delighted to mm -hmm. get you some ice cream, darling. Uh, would you like some fudge swirl ice cream? Yes. Is that what you want? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Robert. What did the judge say? Do I get a reduced sentence and more security? Come on, you can say it. I'm sorry. I tried. It doesn't look good. And I don't. I'll get my things. to be Robin's last sight on me. Yes. Is Mr. Lavery ready? Just uh, hold off for a moment. Huh? Thanks. It's time. Where's Anna? She's talking to Robert. This is the man you love. You put your life, your career on the line for him. He's about to be taken away and sentenced, and you won't even spend a few moments alone with oh, him. Oh, don't you think I want to? Then what are you doing in here? I... The guy's hurting. Go to him. I can't. Why not? I love him. I love him. I can't bear to say goodbye to him. You don't have to say. Just go out there. Be with him. Yeah. 